What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking about the major new V4.2 update which is dropping for eFootball25 this Thursday the 5th of December. Specifically, we're going to be talking about the trailer that they released and what it could mean. So let's get straight into it. Alright boys, so if you missed it yesterday, right, Konami actually released a trailer to announce V4.2 and it was a Captain Subasa collaboration as you see here. Now we're going to dissect this. Is it just a collaboration or does it hint at what could come? in v4.2 specifically with a tie-in to another game this is very interesting right and it's just something i've been thinking about as well the more i've watched the trailer so we do have the anime style cards obviously you have messi there in the captain subasa style now we've had this before i'll take and i'll show a look at what we've had before as well such as these cards which we've had as i've said in the game already and we've actually had a collaboration like this before the blue lock collaboration which launched back in march and it ran until April, right? So this kind of reminds me of that. We had the trailer, we had the big emphasis on the cards, we had a big emphasis on the anime style of the cards. And this collaboration featured the same old stuff as we usually get. Special login bonuses, campaigns, kits, free players, premium players, and a load of free spins at cards that were in this collaboration. I think that's a definite that we'll get that. You know what I mean? I think we'll definitely get this style of collaboration where we get loads of freebies, loads of stuff to work towards and of course as well right with these blue lock highlight cards they had their own special booster which i think could usher in a new booster into v4.2 now i'm going to be doing a very specific video on what i think v4.2 will be in but i've been getting so many questions about this captain supasa collaboration and what it could mean and stuff i think that there is a couple of things hidden within the trailer especially at the end of the video which we'll get to in a second but that is just what the cards looked like when you sign them right i'm not going to spend too long on this but just for anyone that never signed a blue lock or has jumped on i'm not going to jump on the bandwagon and say that i'm the biggest blue lock or captain subasa fan in the world but it was a pretty cool collaboration and especially if it's one of your favorite anime uh, series it is definitely something that you could get excited about right also with v4.2 we know that the objectives and the campaigns and the match pass and the eFootball league that is all ending so that is going to be uh, revamped that is where this collaboration will come in and i think that they'll add to it over the next the next two to three weeks especially as we go into christmas however the biggest talking point of this video i've left the best to last is this champion squad right so this is the first time that konami have actually talked about this champion squad uh game within eFootball. this is its own standalone mobile game that is available on the app store and i do feel as if this is kind of this is kind of more interesting, I think, because it's the first time that they've ever actually shown a different game within an eFootball specific trailer. Or, of course, you could look at it in a different way. You could think of this as maybe they're kind of just using this as a promotional tool. I don't think so, though. I think that this is going to be very important, and I think that we will see some sort of link with the champion squad i don't know why they would release this trailer with this logo so prominently in it with the j league logo as well unless there was something that they were going to be working on over time right and what i mean by working on it over time is maybe there's going to be some sort of like cross mode between these two games hence why the logos have been you know given equal billing on the trailer for a trailer that's specifically eFootball, for a trailer that we've had no we don't have a trailer yet when the game is out in like what two days at time of recording it's tuesday morning right um but i feel like that they wouldn't have given this equal billing unless it was going to be like some sort of cross mode or some sort of like cross i don't even think it's a collaboration it could be something that maybe they're bringing in cards or maybe they're doing something with the cards and how the cards are, are featured in uh champion squad there will be some sort of link there so i'm going to be doing the video on v4.2 we'll also we're also going to be streaming tomorrow um with the watch along there is going to be a watch along as well that we're going to be doing so i want to see you guys in the comments below let me know am i reading too much into this i mean listen it's not about hyping it up man but i do think v4.2 is going to surprise people i do think that there's going to be a lot of stuff in it that will lay the the groundwork for the next couple of months a lot has changed in the last six months in terms of other in other football games entering in you know such as ufl and going into the next period i think is a very important year for konami so let me know what you guys think in the comments below we will feature some of your comments in the next video that we do on the big v4.2 what my predictions will be a couple of hints and teases and i will see you guys in the live stream don't forget to subscribe if you're liking the content peace